Hi, this is Ron with Art Gallery Showcase mm -hmm. in the beautiful city of Laguna Beach. And we're here today with an amazing artist. When I say amazing, I'm not even exaggerating today. Lorraine Dawson is in our presence and a plein air <laughs> painter like you can't believe. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you for having me today. Oh, it's, trust me, I'm bowing down to your art today. <laughs> I saw your wow. art and I'm just infatuated with it. It's beautiful. Trust Thank me. You. Thank so, you. talk to me about plein air. Why plein air? Why plein air? Well, I went to school and I was a, um, a studio artist for many, many years. And then I started to paint and just for the fun of it. I was at a gallery and a, and a gal comes up and she goes, have you ever done plein air? I said, what? What is that? And she goes, you should come out. And she explained to me what it was. And so I went out and I joined a, a group um, out of Riverside and I've been hooked ever since. So that's maybe about 10 years ago. And I, so I just love being, painting outside. Just seeing the colors, they talk about all the colors that you can see outside, and I really didn't know what they meant. But now I do, so I'm just hooked. It's like, it's just hard to go in the studio. In fact, I just came back from Mammoth, and we we're painting outside, and it was just beautiful. The deer running by, you know, and the light shifting. So I just love being, painting outside. I, I don't know who this lady was, but. She she was definitely smart. She knew the right person to bring into the group. Uh, I love your colors and your compositions, and especially your shadowing. Oh. And speaking of that, why don't we transition into the first piece? Oh, this is uh, Casa Romantica. So I think it was done last year at the San Clemente Paint House we had. So you have like a week and you paint outside any spot you want. And this is kind of the backside of Casa Romantica looking out at the ocean there. So I think I went back like maybe two, two days, two or three days to catch that light at the same time to finish it up. And the next piece is right down the road from us here in Laguna mm -hmm. in the harbor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Dana Point Harbor. If you ever gone down there, it's by the Harbor Patrol area. And there's a nice grassy area there. And I think that's the beauty of California. We have the ocean there, and then we have Saddleback Mountain right in the background. You like to go down to the harbor then at paint? I love the beach. I love Dana Point Harbor. And that was a tricky scene in that, you know, with all the yachts, it's really busy in the background. So you try and group it into colors, and it was really fun, the people sitting on the grass and the dogs walking by. Does that make it harder in plain air when the animals are moving and the boats are moving? and? What was hard on that one, so there were the three boats right there, mm -hmm. and then the one boat took off. It's like, well, good thing I caught him before he left. Good you thing know? you painted him before he yeah. I saw all the people on that dock there getting on the boat, you know, and they start putting in their fishing poles. It's like, oh, they look like they're going somewhere, you know. So I just love being, painting outside. Oh, so this is by the Montage at Treasure Island, that, that famous keyhole. And this one is done in acrylic. The other two, usually I work in oils. All but the this time? One, yes, uh huh. Um, this one was done in acrylic. And it's just, of course, it's just a beautiful spot, um, that keyhole. And I think I did it around, mm, around probably around 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. So most plein air painters use oils, correct? Not all. Some do um, watercolor, a lot do oils. Um, some do um, acrylic. Acrylic has its own little challenges so the paint doesn't dry, but it's fun. I think e each medium has its own advantage. Th it does the oil stay wet longer than the acrylics, or you think? Yes. So yes. you can move it? You can move it, but you know the beauty of acrylic, if you do um, a mistake and you want to change over because the paint already dries, you can just paint right over it. Oh, so it's, that doesn't affect it at all when it dries that fast? Which oils, you cannot do that as easily. Just paint over something you want to change. Just yeah. to compare it to the next one. Okay. Oh, this is I, I, I got to stop. You this, like this one? Oh. The shadowing on this, it just stopped me when I saw it, when it came in and went up on the showcase gallery. I love the greens. I love the way everything's sitting, mm -hmm. the shadowing, the light just breaking through those back. That really... I'm serious, uh, I fell in love with that yeah. piece. That was my oh, favorite thanks. piece of all of them. Thanks. You know, I attended a class, and we went down there, and the instructor lives there. So she knows this area, you know. So she took you right to the spot. Well, we go there, I'm like, seriously, there's nothing down there. Because it was like late, and by the time I decided, you know, 
then that little bit of light came in. And I just fell in love with it. And it's one of those paintings that just kind of happens, you know, it just works. And then I worked a little bit on it at home. But it's funny with plein air, you go to a place and you go, really, this is where we're going to paint? And then you kind of calm yourself down in your eyes. I think you get those artist eyes and the values and colors, and then, and then you see the, that picture. Yeah, you saw it. I mean, that's that, that emotion. maybe that's what I'm feeling because yeah. when I was looking through the art, I'm like, this one just stopped me. And I it's just that it. last light right at the end and the sparkle you see and the little bit of water running through. But that's the beauty, right, of plain air when you're there experiencing it in person. And a lot of our artists say it's the nature that grabs you, and apparently nature grabbed you on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God's creation, just, you know, that's what you want to communicate. And the last piece? This is Pirate's Cove, you know, in Corona. Oh, yes. So we went there in person, and I just loved the light. It was again in the morning, probably around 9 or 10. And just the light and the cave, the, that cave effect in there and the boat. I did another version, and, you know, I just looked up and the sailboat was sailing out. But that's just the, the, ca the cast shadow there of the, of the um, rock formation mm -hmm. and the waves. So it's so fun to play with the warm and cool colors. Yeah. And you could fun. actually feel and see the water moving. But the, the shadowing on this is just amazing. The sun Thank popping you. on top and then the shadowing coming right down to the ocean. It's, it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful oh, piece. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. California is so fun to paint. Southern California is so fun to paint. Because there's so much different stuff to paint with. You can go on the coast, you can go inland, go to the desert, go to the mountains, right? Absolutely. And it's been a real pleasure having you here today. Thank and you. you know what the best part I think was? Mm -hmm. Is all the little secrets you've revealed about shadowing and lights and waiting for that right moment. Sometimes that's what it really takes. Is uh -huh. I, I think with all the artists I've ever interviewed, most of them, it's that moment in time when mm -hmm. they see it uh -huh. and then they hook it and then they paint it and it's... Those are the dream pieces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you very much You're for being welcome. here. You're welcome. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much.